Hello everyone, today I will be showing you the basics of building a molecule in GasView. So let's begin by opening GasView. Oftentimes you will get an error saying that Gaussian is not installed, and this is typically the case if you do not actually have Gaussian on your computer and it's instead being ran on a supercomputer somewhere. So go ahead and click OK and ignore it. First, run through some of the options we have for building a molecule. First of all, we have the element fragment, which allows us to choose different atoms and what type of fragment we want them in. Again, we have ring fragment, so we could choose from benzene, naphthalene, different types of rings. We also have R group fragments, so this is you know formal, carboxyl, carbonyl, that type of thing. And then we also have here biological fragments, so we could select from amino acids or nucleosides. So now we can start by selecting to create a new molecule group by going here to File, New Molecule Group. This is our molecule viewer here. For this video, I'm going to create dimethyl aniline, which has a benzene ring. So we'll go ahead and click on benzene and then just simply click in the molecular viewer. You can drag around to see it, scroll in and out to zoom in and out. Now we know that there is a nitrogen in DMA. We see we could select which configuration we want our nitrogen in. So we'll start with a nitrogen with two hydrogens on it. Finally, we know there's two methyl groups on the nitrogen. So we go ahead and select carbon in the tetrahedral configuration and go ahead and click on the hydrogens to add those. So now we have our DMA molecule. Now that we have our molecule built, let's look at some of the options that we can do to our molecule. First of all, we could modify a bond, modify an angle, or a dihedral angle. So let's first by just exploring the bond modification option. Here you see we could select what type of bond. We could go single, double, triple, transient. We can also fix or not fix the atoms here. So here we could translate the group or an atom or keep it fixed for both atom and the bond. And then here we use this scale to either increase or decrease the bond length. Next, we have the angle editor. So for this one, instead of selecting two atoms, we select three. So we'll start with this. Again, we see that we could select what type of configuration we want the atoms in, if we want them fixed or rotated. And then we could use the scale again to change the angle of the bond. Finally, we have the dihedral. Here we select four atoms. And as you guessed, this is to edit that dihedral angle. Again, we could select which atoms we want rotated or want fixed and how we want them to rotate. And then we could also rotate the dihedral angle. Next, I'll show you the brush up tool, which takes your built molecule and kind of uses classical mechanics to minimize the forces on each atom. Depending on how you've built your molecule, this could perhaps give you a better starting point for the actual geometry. So the actual brush up tool is up here, it looks like a brush, and you go ahead and click it and it will slightly modify your molecule based on classical mechanics to minimize all the forces. I'll show you the redundant coordinate editor. We could go ahead and add a redundant coordinate. Here we see that we can select either an atom, we could select a bond, we could select an angle, or we can select a dihedral. Once we have one selected, let's go ahead and select a bond. We know it's going to have two atoms, so we go ahead and click on the two atoms in the bond that we want to analyze. So now the fields are filled. We can freeze the bond if we would like. We can calculate the Hessian of the bond, or we can scan the bond. We're going to scan it. We tell it how many steps we want and how long we want each step. So here would be 20 steps of one angstrom. If we wanted to decrease the bond, we'd make it a minus length. Let's look over a few more options that we have. First of all, we can select all atoms with that button. We can also deselect all atoms with this button here. We can select atoms through overhead or by clicking. Clicking is usually the method you want to do. If our molecule has gotten out of view, we could click this button and that will automatically center the entire molecule in our viewer. And those are the basics of building a molecule.